Good morning everyone, this is Eric again, Northwest Bus Sales. I want to thank you all for your time. Look at these buses, I'll tell you what man. We, we just got buses coming out our ears. We got shuttle buses, mini buses, tour buses, charter buses, motor coaches, school buses. I, heck, I even got a 4x4 shuttle bus out front. You can check that one out online, nwbus.com. But uh, I got a number of Prevos, man. I think I got like 15 Prevos in stock, anywhere from La Mirage XL2s to H345s, MCI 102 D3s, 102 DL3s, 102A3s, MC9s, MC12s. 102 EL3s, E4500s, D4500s. Heck, I even got a couple of D4000s in the back that I haven't even got to yet, man. I'll tell you what, we are just loaded down with coaches. We are your motor coach headquarters. Look at the stars and bars flying up there. Oh my goodness, and the Seahawks down below. I'll tell you what, don't even get me started on the Seahawks right now. I'm, I'm still a bit disgruntled about that whole thing. So anyhow, let me get back on track here. This is a 2000 Prevo XL, La Mirage XL2. Check it. I love it. I've heard you, I know, I know I ramble on and on about motor coaches and, and you probably all get tired of hearing me, but we really got a passion for buses up here in the Northwest. So 55 passenger, this is an ADA bus. It, that means uh, wheelchair lift in it, Rikon cassette style wheelchair lift. I'd give you a demo of it, but I'll be honest with you, I gotta shoot you straight. I checked it out before I even started this video, and it deploys nicely, but it doesn't go back in so nicely. So anyhow, don't let that discourage you. It is definitely something we can take care of. It's just I've got an abundance of motor coaches I gotta get on the website, because people are going nuts for these things, and I wanna get them out there so people can see them. They haven't even been through our shop yet. Our shop's all backed up with uh, sold buses we're trying to get out to customers, so. Anyhow, I'm just backed up with buses is what I'm trying to say, I reckon. So, here we go. Uh, dual entry grab bars, step treads, they're not too shabby. Look at that, showing, showing use, I think that's expected. Got a little bit of a seam popping up there as well, but I think it's expected considering the age and the mileage of this thing. Speaking of mileage, just check out the odometer, look at that, 642,000. Shoot, this doggone thing's about half life, you know what? Man, tons of life left in this thing, a lot of service. Check out the driver's seat upholstery. It is showing a fair amount of fading, a little bit of ripping and tearing right here. I take that back, that's a little bit of stitching right there, ripping and a tearing. So, you can see the mismatched seat bottom there. Uh, Isringhausen driver's seat, again, one of my faves. Uh, you can see the emergency air brake over there. Allison shift pad, that's Allison B500. Uh, six speed. Does not have a retarder, but you can see the Jake switch over there as well next to the high idle switch. So, here we go. Uh, uh, air actuated tilt and telescoping wheel. <laughs> air horn. Man, let's hit that again. Dang, that is loud. Woo! Anyhow, uh, you can see REI DVD video player right there. Well, that's not the DVD player. I'll show you that here shortly. REI video system, it's got six TVs, well, maybe five, hold on now, before I, before I lie to you, five, I'm seeing five, all right, uh, driver and passenger heat and AC climate control, you know, the whole ball of wax there, uh, let's see, uh, you know, you can see the courtesy light switches there and what have you, uh, driver lights and all of that business, so here we go, let's get down to the passenger side of things, look at that upholstery does match the headliner and the wall so it uh, that's a good indication this is this you know the upholstery has been in here for a little bit again I just want to shoot you straight you can see in the high traffic areas some ripping and tearing and also you know some fading sun fading what have you now also let me give you a heads up the the upholstery is gonna this the upholstery needs a little bit of attention but I still think it's totally functional as you cruise along here you can see well, right there, that's probably the worst of it right there. So, uh, got a couple of, you got uh, this whole, this will accommodate up to two wheelchair lifts right here. And over here, you can see the shoulder restraints. They're also for the wheelchair lift riders. And I think you're losing, let's see, one, two, uh, 
Well, you know what? I think you're losing probably eight seats if you got two wheelchairs in here. So, as I mentioned earlier, the wheelchair does function, the wheelchair lift does function, but it does have a couple of issues that I noticed as well. So I'm not going to demo it for you. You got a got a pretty good tear there in the headrest. Row of three in the back, 55 passenger. Here's the uh, here's the toilet right here. No sink in there. Vanity mirror, soap dispenser, and what have you. Uh, emergency roof hatch up top here. Five TVs. You can see they're all functioning. REI DVD system. Reclining high back passenger seats with armrest and footrest. <laughs> nope. No footrest. These are Prevo seats. So a lot of times these motor coaches will have like, uh, you know, American seating or national seating. Even Fances is another one. They're all very good seats. Prevo actually makes their own seats as well. And these are Prevo seats. So enclosed overhead parcel racks. Uh, very nice feature. It's got a really good feel to it in here. Even despite, even in spite of the, uh, you know, the, the upholstery flaws and shortcomings. Big tour style windows with tent. I know I've said it before and I'm going to say it again. I love the La Mirage windows. One of my faves. They really got a good look. I love how they wrap around the top. We'll check that out in a moment outside. All right, the floor, as I pointed out, the step treads there and also the floor all the way through it, you know, looks pretty good. I'm not seeing any seams peeling or popping up anywhere, no holes. The floor is in really good shape. Okay, let's walk around her outside right quick. Button this baby up right here. La Mirage XL2. La Mirage. I just like saying that. La Mirage. It's got a good, it's got a good ring to it. You know what? I'm not gonna lie. It's got a good feel. Alright, good tire tread there up front. On the passenger side front. Look, there's that gnarly air horn that I pointed out to you. Man, those things are woo! There we go. Let's check out the under four storage now. Typically, a La Mirage has three under four storage bays. This is a 45 foot motor coach, unlike the 40, uh, the H345 by Prevo. Those have four under four pass through storage uh, compartments. This one, however, only has two right here because the third one is being taken up by the Rycon cassette style wheelchair lift fuel door right there. Look at that. All right. Moving right along, let's get down to the tires here. You can see drive, uh, drive tires here on the passenger side. We've seen a fair amount of tread there. Let's get a look at the undercarriage a little bit there. Oh, yeah. Looking pretty good, pretty clean, pretty straight as well. Sometimes, you know, on these road rails down here, you can see where the previous driver got a little, you know, dirt shot at some stuff. The body and paint showing a few minor dings and scratches and what have you. Nothing excessive, I don't think. Look at the glass. I love the bonded style. I mean, wrap around, wrap around the top, passenger windows. Blacked out, goes awesome with the white. All right, here we go. Let's open up the engine compartment. There's AC compressor. There's the dog on the air filter right there. bit of problems here. It's kind of a two. No, I got her. Sometimes it takes two hands to open up these barn doors here. But look at this. Again, one of my faves. I've said it before and I'm going to keep on saying it. Detroit Diesel Series 60 12.7 liters in line six. You can see the uh, raised valve cover on There's Levi over there in the StarCraft Prodigy. That's a brand new bus right there. That's a nice Type A, type a activity bus. It's also called a MFSAB multifunction school activity bus. So anyhow, boy, I totally got sidetracked right there. Uh, what was I talking about? Goodness sakes. Rambling on about some, oh, it was the valve cover. The 
valve cover, when it sits up high like that, you can always tell it's got jake brakes from that. So when it doesn't have a jake, that valve cover's flat as a pancake. Check out the body over here. Looking pretty sharp. As I mentioned earlier, it's got some dings and scratches and what have you. Like right there on the bumper, another one on the billboard on each side. Let's check out the drive tires on the driver's side. Look at that. Good tread there. And on the tag. Good enough tread to hold a rock in there, too. All right, look, airbags. Get a look at the suspension underneath here. You can tell. I would love to say this bus has spent its whole life here in the Northwest, but to be honest with you, I just don't know. But by the looks of it, man, I don't reckon it's seen any bad road chemical. The bus guys know what I'm talking about. That road chemical can just tear a heck on the bus. Anyhow, it's looking pretty good inside and out. Okay, there's the luggage bay doors down low, LED clearance lights front and rear, ambers up front, red in the rear. I mean, running lights down low here, LED running lights, midship lights. Yes, yes, good looking Prevo. Again, uh, this is a 2001, no shoot, the last one I did a few minutes ago was a 2001. I've got a handful of 01s and 2000s in stock. I think I got a total of six of these babies, maybe it's seven. I need to go back out and I, I gotta wrap my head around how many Prevos overall. I think I got like 15 H345s and uh, XL2s as well with a total of 15. So anyhow, again, uh, 2000 Prevo La Mirage XL255 passengers, uh, ADA lift will hold up to two wheelchairs. Check us out online, nwbus.com. Please call any questions, 800. 231 7099 thanks